right, then I was interviewed on the radio, and so I'll put it on for you now if you can cope with me. <laughs> Here it is. You should have a good laugh at this one. This morning I'm joined with uh, Malcolm Stockings, uh, he's a singer, he's a songwriter and uh, a worship leader at the Northern Lights Church in Halifax. But um, just before we get into the music, Malcolm plays uh, a guitar and he leads worship. So uh, Malcolm, welcome to the show. Hello, nice to see you, to see you guys. <laughs> I was wondering when that was going to come in. Um, Firstly, start off with this. Uh, how, when did he start to pick up a guitar? Uh, well, uh, from being kids, we, we loved music so much. We, we wanted to have his own family band and everything. Uh, but when I went to secondary school, I really struggled to learn music. I loved music so much, but really struggled. And I think I don't know why it was. Probably because I was stressed and bullied a lot and chased. So I was always frightened. I didn't really learn a lot at school. But when I left school. Uh, a, a friend of mine who was in a band, he taught me three chords, E, A and D. And from then on, I practiced and practiced and practiced, and I started learning all the Buddy Holly songs, yeah. and then writing my own versions of some of them as well. Which is pretty good. So how long have you been a Christian? Well, as a child, um, when about six years old, my mum and dad used to set me to do uh, the boys' brigade, and we were in Sunday school. One morning at the age of six um, or seven, they sung this song called, Oh Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. Be thou forever near me, my master and my friend. I will not fear the battle if thou art by my side. Be thou forever near me, my master and my guide. You know, that song, it was the first song I sung right in my heart. Yeah. And from then on, I knew uh, and believed in God. Um, but as I grew older, obviously, with things that happen, we often forget our childhood. And we lose our ways. Yeah, we lose our ways, yeah. Uh, I lost a lot of my ways in life, um, through being in debt and things like that. And I was quite suicidal and depressed. Uh, and it was in 1992 when I actually had a wonderful encounter with God's love. Uh, it was absolutely amazing, his love for me. And, and then I learned a lot more about Jesus, uh, reading, uh, it was actually a Gideon's Bible. Right. Yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. The, the reading more about Jesus, what he did for us, and I began to follow him then. So I could say I was a Christian since 1992, but I've believed in God all my life. Absolutely brilliant. So uh, this new song, What You Believe, what's this about? Well, when I became a Christian, I had, a, I, had a, I had lots of memories from the past. Obviously, I've got four wonderful children, all grown up, and I've got grandchildren. But um, being brought up myself as a child, uh, I believed in Father Christmas. Like a lot of us did. Yeah, I believed in it. He comes down your chimney, flies with the radio, radios, not radios, <laughs> radios, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 I, when my dad had the, he changed the fire into a gas fire. I said, Dad, how's Father Christmas going to get down there? <laughs> the amount of lies that came out well, as well. Well, I wanted to take the gas fire off, but he said it's all right. He'll knock on the door, son. <laughs> But, but when I became a Christian, it, it became quite a serious thing, really, because as you grow up, you think, hold on a minute, that's not true. Why is mum and dad lying to me about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's, I think that's what happened to all of us. So why did they come to church with me when I was a kid? And tell me the truth. Uh, yeah, but, I, I, but on the serious side of it, believing that Christmas is, a, is celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. It's absolutely wonderful, and, and I think what, what, what a brilliant way to turn us away from borrowing money on Christmas uh, and, and falsifying things. Why not just go to church and celebrate the birth of Jesus, because he loves us so much. They gave everything for us. You'll, re you'll hear it in the lyrics of the song. It will do. Okay, now let's get back to the music then. This is the new single from Malcolm Stockings, What Will You Believe on Branch FM? Jesus. 
Jesus came from heaven above, gave his life for those he loves. Jesus died and rose again, let's get ready, he's coming again. We will all believe it, we will all believe it, Jesus Christ our Savior. We will all believe it, we will all believe it, Jesus is the Son of God. Let's get ready, he's coming again.